Good day guys. It has been a while since I've done an aeration. Welcome to the springtime in the northern range of Yellowstone National Park. I'm at the east end of Lamar Valley and I'm doing a mid-afternoon aeration as the wildlife activity for the first half of the day has now died down. Just a quick update, I've added a few pieces of equipment to my setup. One of the most crucial is this lavalier mic that you are listening to now that's plugged into my field recorder uh, using an adapter that took a good bit of research to figure out that I needed mono to mono. And it's funny as I progress through the filmmaking equipment to learn these micro details and almost becoming like a mini expert in each one of these fields to be able to you know, make sure that I cover all, all basis and that I'm doing what I'm doing well enough to be able to, to get good quality. And on top of getting some new pieces of gear, I've also been hired back to work as a naturalist and a wildlife guide in Yellowstone. It is without a doubt my favorite job that I've ever worked so far, and it's a true privilege to be able to do that, and obviously is a great avenue to be able to teach myself to be a wildlife cameraman in the park. It sets me up very well uh, to pursue that in my free time. Today has been a very exciting day. I applied to my first official position with the Nat Geo Live program coming here. Not sure if I'm gonna get it or not, but the way in which I applied is putting my first highlight or show reel together. That was an exciting process. I have no idea if I'm gonna get it. A few contacts that I've made in the area throughout the year and a half since I've been back in the country put my name in, so there's a slight chance, but if not, either way, I had an amazing time putting the show reel together. I'm really proud of the things that I produced over the last six months in filmmaking, and I'm really proud that I could quickly put it together prior to applying to the job. And it was awesome, man. It was sweet. There's some really good footage on there and I'm pretty stoked about the way it turned out. And it feels good to finally have a product with some music in the background and like a whole end product and, and visualization of what I've been putting together and, and everything that I'm working for. It's funny how you can critique your own work and look at your own work and you know, very often never be satisfied with your own work and always see these details that you could be improving on. And that has been exponential for me in my first half a year uh, with camera work. And then the entire process of filmmaking through editing and narration as well. So I was filming this potentially rare red-tailed hawk on this rock, the boulder behind that camera. When these bison came through, and uh, I, had to, I had to move back a ways from the boulder from where I was. One of the hazards of working in Yellowstone, something always to be aware of when migrating bison come through. So it's a dream situation for me to be hired into guiding again in the park and it obviously helps me in my days off go into my free time and, and continue filmmaking. It came at a big sacrifice of moving to Gardner from Bozeman, Montana, uh, where I've lived uh, for a number of years. And it comes at a sacrifice of basically every extracurricular activity that I enjoyed. But when you have such a lifelong passion and you are driven towards a goal, it takes sacrifice, it takes effort, it takes hard work and it takes dedication and persistence to be able to make things like that happen. And this is a clear cut example. And I couldn't feel more inspired to dedicating myself to it because of, well, because of where I work and the things I do and what I get to be a part of. Like today, I just finished filming a mother grizzly bear with year and a half old cubs nursing and just in beautiful scenery. And it's an absolutely amazing experience to be a part of that. And I couldn't be happier that that is the thing that inspires and drives me and I can only wish that everybody can discover what drives them and what they're passionate about because the world needs people to live their passions and their purpose and what they want. And it would without a doubt be a better place.
This is take two of a narration on May 20th in the east end of Lamar Valley. Now that I have hit the record button on the audio. Springtime narration, here we go. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> that was great. I couldn't be more psyched about what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing. I love guiding. I absolutely love filmmaking. And I love the show reel that I put together yesterday, whether I get hired to work for Nanji or not. It's still a dream come true to do my own filmmaking, to create my own shots, to shoot my own wildlife, and put together a clip. And with that, give me a second. GoPro, stop recording. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy the series, remember to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing many more amazing things along the way, including staying tuned for more behind the lens as I'll be releasing an episode each week. And remember to share with your family and friends.